Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know, my name is Karim and I go by the name of Fuzzy Feet Footwear on YouTube and Instagram. I am a UK based part time eBay shoe reseller and what that means is I buy smelly old shoes from places such as car boot sales, charity shops, kilo sales, online for as low as I possibly can and I sell them online on eBay for a profit. So first of all, I hope everyone's had a really good summer. I know it's been a bit mixed in terms of weather, but it's just nice to like make the most of like whether that's going to the beach, going abroad or just spending time with your loved ones. Apologies for not putting out any videos as of late. Um, personal commitments have got in the way. Um, I do work full time, as most of you will probably know by now, and I do this part time. So when I am off, I like to put as much time as I can into eBay and YouTube. As much as I do enjoy it, it does take away from that. Having said that, the kids will be back at school very soon. So I am looking to do a lot more uploads, especially more outdoor ones, such as like thrifting, sourcing in car boot sales, charity shops, etc. So I thought today I'd uh, go through some of my latest finds just to give you guys an idea of what I pick up, um, how much I pick them up for and what I'm expecting them to sell for. So first things first, we have a pair of Nike Air Hirachi Runs. Um, these are this model's called the Carbon Green. It's um it's not there's not many around on eBay actually. After doing a bit of a search, um, I think there's about two or three, and they're listed at about thirty four ninety nine used. So I'm going to do the same thing because I feel like my pictures, my listing optimization will be of a high standard. So I'm going to price these at thirty nine ninety nine. I paid three pounds for them at a boot sale. They are a size UK five, so the buyer will probably be. Um, a junior or a woman's. Um, they've also got nice brown waffle soles. And for those that don't know, a waffle sole is basically a sole that provides extra um, durability and traction, giving you a better grip on the road. So this will make an ideal shoe for athletes um, or um, runners. Next up, sticking with the Harachis, I've got another pair, actually bought both of them from the same stall at a boot sale. Um, so these are also a UK five. This model's called the Phantom Light Bone and it's got a nice cream and off-white colorway. Um, I'll probably stick them on for about $34.99 again, like the carbon version, and then take offers. Um, I paid three pounds for these, so I paid six pounds for the pair. So yeah, really happy with that. Next up, I've got a pair of New Balance. These are the 530. Um, they're a size four, so a bit on the small side, but they are in absolutely excellent condition. Really fresh soles, nice clean upper, um, you know, not much wear at all to them. Um, I paid three pounds 80 for these at a kilo sale. Um, there's actually none listed used on eBay. So I'm going to dictate the price of the secondhand market when it comes to these. I'll probably stick them on for about 49.99 and then take a best offer. Next up, I've got a size 8.5 pair of Nike N110 DMSX. It's got a really cool, funky, multicolored um, upper. Um, there is some wear to the midsoles, but I don't think it will make too much difference to the price. Plenty of life on the tread. And um, yeah, I picked these up for £4.80 at a kilo sale, and I will probably look to make between £40 and £45 pounds for these. Here I've got a pair of Adidas Harden Volume 1 Sweet Life uh, running shoes. They are a size UK 9.5 men's. They've got a nice premium prime knit upper and a lovely Boost midsole. Um, boost midsole Adidas trainers command a lot more money. Um, plenty of life on the soles, as you can see. Um, not much wear at all to them, to be honest with you. Um, new, one of them went for about £125. Someone else has a second hand pair listed for £74.99. I'll probably try and undercut them and stick them on for about £60 to £65. These cost me £3 at a boot sale. So, yeah, really happy with that. Next up, I've got a pair of your traditional, original uh, Converse Chuck Taylor All Star High Tops. These are a men's size UK 9. I am a nine, I did think about keeping them, but I thought as we approach winter now, 
Converse aren't the best shoes to be walking around in the wet weather. Um, but yeah, good condition, classic color. Um, I'll probably look to get between 30 and 35 pounds, especially because they're sort of like a good men's size. Uh, sorry, these cost me two pound uh, boot sale. Next up, I've got a pair of Air Force One black high tops. These are a size UK five women's. They've got the Velcro strap and the lace up. Um, relatively good condition. Uh, a bit more desirable than the lows. Um, but yeah, solid bread and butter sell. I love picking up Air Force One, especially the triple black and the triple white. Um, I'm probably look for about 30 pounds on these ones. These cost me two pounds at a car boot sale. Next up, I have a pair of Air Max 97s. These are the gold metallic model. Um, they're a size nine. I paid eight pounds with postage. So it was five pounds plus three pounds postage on Vinted. And looking at eBay solds, I should be expecting anything between 40 and maybe 50, 55 pounds. Um, I have actually worn them once since picking them up. I guess that's just the perks that you get for being a shoe reseller, but I'm sticking to my guns and I'm gonna sell them. Last but not least, I have a pair of on cloud, on running shoes. Um, these are the Cloud Swift editions. Um, they don't have any insoles, but they cost me three pounds, so there was no way that I was leaving them behind. Um, nice uh, navy upper, white midsole, um, very sought after, very desirable. These sort of sell for between 120 to 180 brand new. Um, looking at soles for this particular model, I can expect to receive anything back between maybe 40 and 60 pounds, um, depending on size and condition. But yeah, for the price I paid, I definitely wasn't leaving them behind. So guys, I thought I'd just do a little uh, pickup video just to sort of get my YouTube videos off the ground. Um, I will look to do more outdoor videos as well because I've had people ask me if I can film what I pick up at a boot sale or at a charity shop or at a kilo sale. So yeah, I do have that all still to come. Um, on a side note, I am arranging a reseller meetup. It's gonna be in September on the 30th at the Ball, which is um, a pub in Grays, Essex. So look out for information on that on my Instagram. If you would like to attend, whether you're a reseller, whether you're an old face or a new face, um, please do get in touch. The fly is all up on my Instagram account. If you've got any more questions, um, just give me a message on Instagram. But yeah, um, we'd love to see you guys there if you can make it. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next one.